Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. This is the ninth year that Inside Business has honored companies throughout Hampton Roads as the best places to work. And the common thread among all the various large, mid-sized, and small companies is that they each go above and beyond to create a great working environment for their employees. That's why I'm proud to say that this year, Cox was inducted into the Best Places to Work Hall of Fame. Here to tell us what it takes for a company to make it on the Best Places to Work list are publisher of Inside Business, Ed, Edward Power, and editor, Carol Lichty. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be here, Gary. Well, I have to say, you have a great, great, great uh, organization. It's a, it's a truly a, a treasure what you do for our community, and we're very proud of the, the award that we won. But let me, let me start, I mean, nine years ago, Inside Business began its Best Places to Work uh, program. Why? why? What well, was behind that? Well, since it? its inception, probably almost 15 years ago, Inside Business has seen as part of its mission to honor achievement in the business community. And certainly what you see in Hampton Roads is companies that aren't just providing an economic uh, impact to the community in a positive sense, but their employees go out and do lots of incredible charitable work in the community. And so we wanted to honor that. So can you walk me through the process? What what how does a company get selected? It's it's actually pretty detailed and we ask for a lot of specific information but we ask the companies to provide us uh, information of everything from what their starting salary is to what their turnover rate is, what their benefits are, um, what kind of training and professional development they provide, those specific things. Plus then there's a whole nother process where we actually have employees take an online survey from the companies and get a sufficient number of returns on that where the employees validate what the, the company has told us. So they so it's actually... Just not, it's just not a public relations campaign. No, this, this has no. to be the real deal. Right. Who are the judges? Well, we draw from different uh, constituencies in the community. We have human resource consultants. We have human resource professionals from some of the area companies. But what's also very interesting is we often draw from senior management in the company because those people have had insights into what it takes to build a company that would be a best place to work. So that in being a judge, they really get to dive down deep into that type of uh, nomination mm -hmm. detail. What are some of the things that the companies that made the list, what are they doing? What are some of the neat ideas that well, you've seen? There's a variety of I'm, things. I'm trying to glean some no, of the things that we can do better. That's so. fine. <laughs> um, Sumitomo Machinery Corporation was one of our top companies this year. And they do everything from like a newsletter to keep employees up to date. But they'll also do like impromptu meetings if something significant has happened, like when the earthquake hit Japan and the tsunami, they held a meeting to inform employees what, are, what's going, what was going on, what was happening to keep them up to date. They also do other neat little events, like they did a, an event around the 15 languages that are represented among their workforce and also an event celebrating international foods and it kind of the makeup of the workforce, people brought in food that represented their backgrounds and cultures. Some neat you, you things like that. You mentioned cultures. I mean, we're in a tough economy. How important does culture play in improving the morale and the level of engagement for employees? I think, I mean, I think culture is hugely important in building the identity of a company in the community, but also to make its employees feel part of something and to inspire them. I think that's hugely important when you've got employees who are inspired. And it's, it certainly comes from things like you know, work conditions and pay and benefits, some of the things Carol was talking about. But also when you see those people connecting in a really positive way in the community and doing good works in the community, I think that's part of that culture. Well, you, you mentioned that one of, the, I think, the unique things that all of the companies, Cox and the others, share is that there's a unique tie to the community. Uh, why is that? Why is participating well, we in the community so important? We felt it was important to ask about that because it, employees, when they're involved in the community, it makes them feel good uh, for who they work for as well. So one, it benefits the community, plus mm -hmm. it also helps the company out with their image. And a lot of the companies on the list provide like additional work hours for people in which they can volunteer and be involved. They have committees set up to look at community work that they want to do to have employees involved. And we just feel that is part of being a best place to work. Now there probably are companies CEOs, small, mid-sized businesses that are looking at this show, looking at you, and they're not on the list. What advice would you give them? Well, I'd say to be, when if, number one, 
enter the program and, and nominate themselves and their company, try to be as specific as possible on what they do. Um, the judges look very carefully at whether all the information is there. Encourage employees when they take the survey to comment and they also look at those results where if somebody marked all number nines, the judge is kind of like, well, you know, how really engaged are these employees to take this survey? Some of those sort of things. And to realize that the judges know the laws, what's involved, so specify what's above and beyond the law to do is the human resources for your company. And they can find out more of this, I guess, uh, at your website, InsideBusiness.com. I think we're showing that. Yeah. And what other advice it's, would it's you a, give? It's a rigorous process. It, it really is. It, so you have to want to do it. You have to want to go through the process. You have to be willing to share information that's often very detailed and you know, intimate about the way the company operates. But I think what you see on the, on the uh, end of the actual awards taking place, particularly if you're a winner, is there's a pride factor to it certainly but what it also does is it says to the community this is a special place to work and in terms of recruiting new talent for your company it can be a huge influence and so while it may seem like a lot of work on the front end the the end result can also be very end. worth it now you also have a best places to work hall of fame award and i i mentioned earlier that we were one of the winners there what does it take to be a hall of fame winner well, you have to be recognized in the program several times, like be a top company that we've recognized for a number of years in a, a row, um, make the overall list for about four years, which I think Cox has maybe done both of those to yes. get on the we're list. Very, and we're very proud of that. And, yeah, and also, if sometimes the number one company is, is taken into the Hall of Fame. And we've also set up now, because we've had companies that have been in it for a while, that and they still want to validate that they're still the best places to work. So we actually started an awards within the Hall of Fame that companies can verify themselves mm -hmm. every year and eventually receive bronze, uh, silver, and gold, and platinum as they continue in the program. And that, and that process could ultimately take a company going from bronze to platinum a decade. Right. So again, it's a very rigorous thing, but the payoff can be really great for a company. Well, we're out of time. Thank you both, Edward Carroll, for being with us. Thank you for all the great work thank that you. you do at Inside Business. And we're, again, we're proud to be a, a winner this year. And thank you for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. Before you go, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider. But because you chose us, we pledge to be your friend during these trying economic times. We promise to provide you with quality products, backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And from all of your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for choosing us and for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.